हेलो नमस्ते गुड डे आई एम गोपाल देसाई फ्रॉम टाइनी टेक प्लांट्स टुडे वी आर इन वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया केरला द कैपिटल ऑफ केरला इज त्रिवेंड्रम एंड वी आर ऑन द हाईवे अबाउट थर्टी किलोमीटर फार फ्रॉम त्रिवेंड्रम सिटी टूवर्ड्स द कन्याकुमारी दिस इज द नेशनल हाईवे एंड दिस साइड इज अ वेरी गुड प्लेस टू सी हियर वन wonderful coconut oil mill is running today we want to see that machine how it performs and how it is extracting a very good quality premium quality coconut oil so we start from the working machine this is a copra cutter this is a copra cutter it cuts big bones of copra into the small pieces they have fabricated uh, this kind of wooden box for collection of the cut copra and from the cut copra they will feed it into the expeller This is a 2.5 tons crushing capacity plant, which is a single expeller plant, and we can see that how nicely cake is coming out from the expeller. Uh, this uh, plant is crushing a very nice quality dried copra, which we saw that uh, copra is cut into small pieces, and that small pieces is uh, uh, suitable to feed into the expeller. so this plant we see is a uh, nicely producing the coconut oil from dried copra this plant has a excellent packing facility and storage facility i would like to explain there are three underground stainless steel tanks each of 2000 liter so this customer process the copra and extract the pure coconut oil which is coming to first of all this tank first tank and whatever oil they produce during the monday and tuesday is coming to the first tank after that another two days of the week that is wednesday and thursday whatever oil they produce that is shifted directly by gravity to the second tank of 2000 liter and whatever oil they produce during the friday and saturday that comes to the third tank this tank is also 2000 liters after all the three tanks are filled up on saturday evening what they do they wait for next day monday morning they shift and empty the first tank and by pump that oil is shifted from the underground tank to overhead two small tanks which you see white color tanks oil is shifted to the this overhead tanks and from overhead tanks that oil through pump it goes to the filter press and from filter press that oil goes to this ground level white tank after that this ground level water oil tank oil goes from that tank to storage tank this is another storage tank which they call is final storage tank packing tank and from packing tank there are three types here one 
two and three. <coughs> so they have packed different size of bottles, jerry cans, etc. from this three tap. So these people have organized excellent storage system of oil and packing system of oil. This is worth looking and worth following for any new entrepreneurs. So excellent quality of oil, coconut oil, which is the premium coconut oil is produced here and we can see the quality of oil. We can see it here. Look at the shape of the bottle. Excellent shape. This is a Neo brand. Neo. Premium coconut oil. Is produced from Tiny Tech Oil Mill plant. There are two types of packing. One is a 1 liter and second is half liter. Five, 455 grams oil is there. Small bottle. So these two types of packings are there. And after this packing, is done in the bottle the pack the oil in the carton these are the cartons in which they pack the oil this uh, neo premium coconut oil is produced in this plant and he is the owner of this plant so we would like to ask few questions to you uh, sure. and you have to reply very honestly. Okay. So this is a very nice quality oil which I saw here being produced by you. Okay. So yes. you can just tell us the story. How did you inspire to, to buy our machine okay. uh, and when did you buy the plant and everything you, you, you please share sure. your, your comments. Okay. Uh, hello everyone. My name is Roshan. I am the owner of uh, this Coconio brand. So I am manufacturing coconut oil since the past 4 months and uh, I have been uh, studying and researching about the coconut oil manufacturing for the past 1 year and I have been studying about different machines, uh, how different machines perform, how the chuck performs, how the expeller performs. I have been uh, going all over India and uh, trying to see how different machines are uh, better and how uh, different machine setting is done and uh, the, regarding the service, regarding the delivery and I have been studying all these features uh, which are offered by different brands and after analyzing all brands in India I have come across that uh, the tiny tech plant is actually the best expeller which we can buy in India like considering all factors which includes the machine quality the service the delivery the machine uh, the time of operation and uh, the spare part availability everything considering all these factors the tiny tech machine is uh, the best machine uh, which you can actually buy in India and uh, uh, let me tell you all the factors in detail like uh, right from the first point itself uh, like uh, normally an expeller machine if uh, uh, an expeller machine if it gets jammed in between an operation it will take a minimum of half an hour to 45 minutes to actually disassemble the chamber and uh, get it uh, set again but actually for a tiny tech machine it will take 10 minutes less than 10 minutes it will take because the uh, chamber setting is in such a way that it is very easy for an operator who is not even that much experienced to open the chamber, clean the machine and then uh, set it back and continue the operation. And uh, the volume which the Tiger Tech machine takes in uh, at a particular time is actually very high compared to the other machine. And the space which occupies is also very low. The cast iron parts which is used inside the Tiger Tech machine is very low. Like it's most of the parts are a mild steel so that means the machine quality and everything is very much durable. In my factory I normally uh, work the machine for like 16 hours straight and the machine doesn't even stop like there is no need for stopping the machine it's like continuous operation it is possible there is no heating there is no uh, problem in between it's, it's like continuous operation you can uh, run the machine how, how much long uh, you want and uh, another uh, much important point which I want to focus about the Tiny Tech machine is uh, when I ordered the machine uh, from uh, Rajkot uh, uh, when I ordered the machine they dispatched the machine on that day itself on the evening uh, I got the uh, tracking number uh, and uh, the machine reached uh, uh, to me uh, at Trivandrum. That's like 2000 kilometers away. At Trivandrum, I got it within four days. And uh, I was able to uh, get it at a very uh, the cheap uh, delivery cost and uh, I got it installed uh, at my plant. 
and uh, from the next day itself i started my operations and uh, and uh, the um, it was very easy to operate like uh, my operators were actually very new to the machine but they didn't even find uh, a problem in operating the machine because it's very easy to use a tiny tech machine it's like very easy to operate like they can learn the machine uh, the operation things everything they can learn it very fast it's a uh, much easy to operate with compared to the other machines and also regarding the spare part while installation i had a small spare spare part uh, um, i wanted an extra spare part but i just ordered call, called the kinetic plant and uh, they immediately dispatched the spare part also it came uh, and i was able to easily fix it so uh, it, uh, there was no problem uh, in running the machine but and sir, uh, you were talking about the uh, temperature of oil yeah exactly Let's that explain something about that yeah uh, so as per the information which we got from uh, coconut development board and other people who are experienced in coconut oil production the uh, ambient uh, temperature at which the coconut oil must be extracted it's like around 60 degrees celsius but when when it comes to the uh, uh, conventional expeller what happens is the oil gets roasted because the temperature rises to a much higher level and um, uh, it goes to ar around 80 degrees celsius more than 80 degrees celsius the oil will rise so oil can get roasted uh, a little bit but when when it comes to a tiny tech machine the oil is um, extracted at a particular temperature it's like around 60 degrees celsius the oil gets extracted but when it comes to a chuck machine what happens is like less than 60 degrees celsius the oil gets extracted and it's actually in a white color which doesn't provide much taste or uh, much uh, uh, much aroma to the oil but the act the good quality of tiny tech uh, uh, the good quality of oil this light yellowish color of coconut oil which gives it the proper color as well as the proper aroma and the proper taste is through the tiny tech uh, machine setting Uh, which is done inside the machine chamber so that's how we actually achieve this quality and this quality can only be achieved through a tiny tech machine because uh, i researched for one year and after that i came to this conclusion so i would like to tell you something about the quality of oil yeah the aroma as you said yes. aroma yeah you know the natural aroma even after heating the oil in the kitchen yes. aroma will not go away yes that's uh, exactly that will be retained yes whereas if it is artificial fragrance which is added to the oil Yes. Huh? Yeah. Then that will be disappeared immediately after you heat up the oil. Exactly. That so that's the sign that if the aroma is retained even after heating the oil. Yes. Then that's the pure natural oil. Pure natural oil. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, one problem which we uh, normally face here in Kerala is around 80% uh, of uh, coconut oil which is used in Kerala is of a very bad quality. Even uh, refined oil is being coming into Kerala with uh, with coconut oil, uh, coconut essence being added. So in that case, um, in such a bad situation. we are providing a good co level coconut oil uh, by using the tiny tech machine we are uh, getting copra we are using the tiny tech machine and uh, extracting it at uh, correct 60 degrees celsius we are using the tiny tech filtration process as well as uh, um, and as uh, the good packing and uh, with that steps we are able to provide a good quality coconut oil so that's how we have achieved this quality with a proper 60 degrees celsius setting we are able to uh, achieve a good level of coconut oil the like this quality we are able to maintain and uh, give to our good customers so you are happy with our machine i am 150% happy with the machine yeah. i would like so, to call your father also sure you, you please come here you introduce yourself okay and if you speak in malayalam also yes. it's fine local language no problem okay yeah and he uh, selected this machine uh, its performance uh, again we saw before uh, 30 years back itself this type of tiny tech machine is using in southern part of india itself mm -hmm. but we had a, a scene recently if now it is also it is using okay. that is the condition of uh, the uh, final, uh, the first model of tiny tech machine we happened to see in the last yeah, week, last week mm -hmm. in tamil nadu end of kanyakumari uh, yeah kanyakumari Kanyakumari is only 45 km far from this place and uh, these people are very very happy with the machine as the customer said is 150% happy with the machine machine is working backside it's a very silent machine and i would suggest that if you are looking for a small business of your own then this kind of industry is a perfect for you because it's a low investment business and the area where you are living if coconut trees are there if the copra is available then this kind of business is the most perfect and ideal business for you as this is done by a small investment and bankers are also financing this kind of project 
which is investment is less than 10 lakhs rupees and you can start your own business which is a profitable business and it also gives you job satisfaction as it caters the requirement of people who everybody needs a pure oil these days because people nowadays understand that by consuming a pure oil then all disease will go away i have seen that so many people have so many type of different different complaints in the body that everything will disappear if you consume a good quality premium oil so i suggest every customer every viewers that kindly consume a pure and good quality oil from this kind of place where the pure is purity is committed and pure oil is produced if in your area there is no coconut tree if you have a mustard or a groundnut or canola anything anything any seeds if, if you have you can start this kind of factory you can see this factory is almost a, a like a 50 feet by 50 feet a square shed where you can install the plant they have very nicely built up a fabricator structure on the top the volumetric space has been utilized when the oil metals i would like to say that uh, compared to this oil which is a pure filtered oil refined oil is not good so if you have two choice having the refined oil or filtered oil then you should select the filtered oil which is a very good quality oil in my opinion and uh, this people you are crushing the copra you are yeah. telling me that this is a sun dried copra sun dried copra naturally dried copra yes. and the second copra is what kind of copra uh, it is a, it's a, a sulfur uh, sulfur dried uh, uh, sulfur dried copra good. is not that good not because there is a little bit of sulfuric Sulfur. acid is generated, uh, generated during the drying process exactly okay so that's so that's that what? comes inside the yeah. copra so uh, that's uh, so compared to the uh the sulfur dried copra the natural sun dried copra copra is good is the best actually like if uh, you can put copra inside uh, in the sun for 5 days uh -huh. and dry it like that uh, yeah. the copra will become very stiff okay. and you can use like the cutter machine also uh -huh. so using the cutter machine you can cut uh, uh, the copra and uh, we can use it for uh, oil extraction so okay. that is the best quality oil which is uh, available in the market okay so rashan thank you very much yeah. for a uh, wonderful welcome and we are very happy that we came here and met you uh, show your plan and being a sunday today because every sunday you keep close yes, yes. i saw that yeah. so in spite of having a holiday yeah. you opened this property yes and uh, like uh, operated us fully yes, yes. so for that i am so thankful to you thank you so much